To me, the toughest thing I had to do was to learn to listen. Uh, in Mission Control, we have a very rugged uh, set of people who run us through. And uh, they identified very quickly that I was making their decisions rather than letting them make the decisions. And one day they just embarrassed me to the point they blew me out of the water. They literally exploded to me. And if you look at the, uh, the way I operate today, you look at the movie Apollo 13. I had the longest communications cord in the room. When I had somebody telling me something, I'd get up, get away from the console, get away from the data, and just stroll back and forth. And my team always knew decision time would come when I sat down at the console. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. There were no smaller roles in mission control. We were a team. And we went into that room as a team and we came out as a team. Every player right down to the last secretary. I had to be smart enough to ask the first good question. After that, that would uh, get the communications flow going so that we could address problems. Uh, failure is uh, an, an ingredient in life. It's an agreement, ingredient in growing. Probably the worst failure of my life and our lives as mission controllers is when we uh, uh, lost our crew in the Apollo 1 fire. And we lived with that failure and what we did about it though became very important. We sat and established a set of values, a set of standards that we would all live up to. They were expectations for ourselves and for others. Uh, failure is, is a incredible intense learning process and if you use it as a learning process it was it was worthwhile i'm gene kranz i was a former flight director during gemini apollo and skylab and later i served duties as the director of mission operations for nasa johnson space center